Hello everybody, just going to give you my quick uh, recap of the Norwich uh, Everton game and uh, it's a couple of days ago now but uh, getting back from a trip and forgot to record the video. I had to watch it while we drove and um, yeah, pretty much what everybody said, probably what you've heard from everybody by now is that the first half we looked pretty bad. Uh, and the second half, Awobi was on fire a little bit. <clears throat> and that's pretty much it. I mean, uh, I'm not mad at them for not looking that great the first uh, half because they literally just played like two or three days before. It's, it's pretty much the whole squad that played that, the whole 11 that played that first game against Liverpool was playing this game, except for, I think, Bernard. And uh, even he looks pretty bad because he's just rusty, I guess. But Rashawson looked Rashawson looked way off pace, and uh, I I just I mean Tom Davies didn't look that great. He was really he's having a hard time, and I I as much as I root for him to actually be the thing as an Everton fan, I would like him to be, which is just a a good midfielder. But also just because I know he's from Liverpool and that people over there really would like to see someone from their own you know thrive in their their favorite team and I want that for Liverpool uh not Liverpool fans but the people of Liverpool Evertonians in Liverpool but it doesn't look like it's gonna work man he just he just doesn't have that it's just not great at anything he he seems like he would be good at passing because of that one pass he made it against Man City by the way thanks Man City uh and if you know, you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, uh, but he hasn't put it together. And he's had a lot of time and a lot of chances from multiple coaches and just not coming through. So I just think the Tom Davies experiment needs to end. But if you keep giving him, I mean, he's young. And I don't want him to, I, I really do want him to succeed. So maybe he'll pull a DCL on us and end up just all of a sudden hitting a switch and hottest English midfielder on the planet. I take it and I'll be happy. Um, but anyway, he looked bad. And uh, Wobi in the second half, I don't know what Angelotti changed or what he told him uh, tactically or just from a, uh, hey, get your heads out of your your butt standpoint maybe. But uh, Wobi came out and man, just, he looked really good. And just, he, he just, for whatever reason, we don't see him. The last time I saw him playing like that was when we played Chelsea at home. And he wasn't able to play like that offensively, but he was just running around that game against Chelsea. And this game, he was running around, except he had the ball with him. And he was just, like, shredding through, taking people on, running past them, stopping them, you know, leaving them in the dirt, in the, you know, ah, I'm cutting back. Defender goes, <laughs> goes uh, you know, running forward another three or four feet because he just can't stop that quick. And, uh, well, we just look dangerous. Uh, I don't think ultimately – can't remember how we got our goal, but I'm sure Wobi was part of building the confidence that started up that goal. And then seeing King get the header from the Digne, uh corner kick was cool. Cause I mean, I like Michael King. I hate that he's had a hard time, but you know, we're all human and things affect us all differently. And I think the move to Everton affected him. And you know, he's had some struggles, but with Holgate, he seems fine. Like he looked like decent, like uh, what you want. I didn't notice him in a bad way in any shape or form or fashion. And then him heading the ball in was just icing on the cake. In the end, just glad to get the three points. Uh, you know, they beat us at home, which was demoralizing to say the least. And we needed to take those three points back. And I, don't, I still don't think we're gonna get into Europe. I'm not excited about you know being such and such points away you know oh we might be in striking distance we still got some hard games against Leicester Wolves I still don't think uh Sheffield's gonna be a cakewalk um I mean I don't know what other big six we have left but uh feels like we played everybody maybe Man City again I don't know um I'm not worried about Europe but I just want us to finish strong and finish in a place where we know what our gaps are and what we need to change. And I'm just glad we got three points on the board. Um, and I think we're 41 now, so 
not gonna get relegated probably. But uh, Norwich, Norwich, this is to the fan who yelled at me, not yelled, but Chast asked me for calling it Norwich, which is how it's spelled. But uh, I'll say, I'll call it by how you guys say it, Norwich. They're going down. They look pretty bad. Um, I don't know why they didn't play their two most deadliest players, but whatever, that's their business. Up the toffees.